So we talk about cancer. So what is cancer? So cancer isn't something that you know you catch. You can't get cancer from somebody that has cancer. So we have to go back to kind of the cellular biology a little bit. Every cell in your body, minus a few different types of cells, but almost all the cells in your body uh, will replicate a new cell on, over a period of time, typically about 6 to 12 weeks. So let's use your liver. Let's use my liver, for example. So I'm going to take out my liver. My liver cells, about every 6 weeks, that liver cell replicates a new cell. And then the old liver cell, or the mother cell, you could say, dies. And then six weeks later, this cell will replicate a new cell, and then this old cell will die. That's normal physiology. Okay? So uh, that's really what normal aging is. So you age because your skin cells will replicate another skin cell. And every time it does it, it's slightly degenerate, depending on your, your diet and your stress level, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And so that's, that's what normal aging is. So my liver is replicating another liver cell and this cell is dying. Now, it doesn't just automatically, magically die. There's a process that takes place in order for that cell to go through what's called normal program cell death or what we call apoptosis. So apoptosis, normal program cell death, takes place because of a chemical reaction inside that cell. That cell, even every one of your cells has a membrane around it, the cell membrane. And on that membrane are thousands of different receptors. You know, you could think of a receptor as kind of a, uh, as like a, a lock. You know, like on the door back there, there's a little lock that you could put a key into and you could open up the door and then you could go in the door. So think of a receptor as that. So thousands of different receptors for all sorts of different chemical reactions that need to take place inside that cell. So in order to get nutrients in the cell, goes into a, a key goes into one receptor site, opens it up and puts nutrients in the cell. In order to get insulin in the cell, that's a receptor that most people are familiar with. In order to get glucose into the cell, insulin is the key, you could say, to the lock for the insulin receptor to open it up and put glucose inside the cell. So it is with the normal programmed cell death that has to take place every time that cell replicates a new cell, this cell is supposed to die. Well, there are what are called apoptotic receptors on the cell membrane. Vitamin D is one of those keys that can attach to an apoptotic receptor. There are many more, but vitamin D goes in and opens up and turns on, in this case, the apoptotic process. That's why the president of Harvard Medical School about two and a half years ago came out with a published paper in the AMA journal that said vitamin D is the best known drug, he called it a drug, against cancer that we know. It's not a drug, it's actually a hormone. And it, uh, it acts as a apoptotic stimulant. It stimulates normal program cell death. So vitamin D, we'll keep to that example, we'll go into that lock and turn that key and it turns on this process inside the cell, a whole bunch of different chemical reactions take place in order for the cell to implode and die. Well, we want that to take place every six weeks. After this cell reproduces another cell, we, want, we need this cell to die. But things can happen, right? Things can get attached to those receptor sites that we don't want attached to those receptor sites and then they don't allow vitamin D to enter into that lock, be that key that enters in the lock. So apoptotic apoptosis doesn't take place. So three things have to take place in order for a person to have a diagnosis of cancer. This is the first one. Something blocked or stopped the process of normal programmed cell death. Something blocked apoptosis. So normally my liver cell reproduces another cell and the process of normal program cell death is stimulated. The cell breaks up and breaks up and dies. My lymph system carries it away. All is good and well. So in order for me to have a diagnosis of cancer, that has to take place first. That process needs to be broken. And there's all sorts of possible reasons why that could be broken. But that has to be broken. In truth, it's broken on all of us at different times. My liver cell may not reproduce another cell and it 
doesn't go through apoptosis. It lives another six weeks and it reproduces another cell. It doesn't go through apoptosis. It lives another six weeks and reproduces another cell and then finally goes through apoptosis. Do I have cancer? No. Do I have the start of it? Yes. I have that first, first stage got broken. But it finally went through apoptosis and it died. What was the harm? Well, no big deal. My liver is just a little bit bigger after 50 years. So what? Yes. Can uh, vitamin D deficiency be one of those blockers? So vitamin D deficiency can be an issue with cancer patients, yeah. Absolutely. So everybody has that happen at different times. You might have it happening in your liver now, your spleen later, you know, whatever. That's happening with everybody. So the comment, does everybody have cancer? Well, yes. The cancer, by definition, is the second step breaking. So the first step has to break. And then the second step is, like I said, if that only reproduced another cell every six weeks, no harm, no fall, we're not, we're not gonna end up with issues. But the second problem is that they have to have a sped up replication cycle. So the replication cycle has to have the gas fully down on the accelerator. So now it's not reproducing a cell every six weeks, now it's reproducing six cells a day. So the apoptosis cycle's broken and the replication cycle's broken. Now this is reproducing, 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 reproducing. Now we have, by definition of the American Cancer Society and every medical textbook, this person has cancer. And this even takes place in every one of us. So, first thing needs to be broken, second thing needs to be broken, but there's one other thing needs to be broken in order for you to finally have a diagnosis of cancer. And that is, we have our one final fail-safe method of keeping us from getting cancer. So I might have a broken apoptotic cycle, and I have a broken replication cycle, it's reproducing, reproducing. But if I have this third thing in place, I'll never get cancer. And that is, guess what we just talked about last hour? Your immune system. What does the immune system do? And it does really well? Kills things. So your immune system, its purpose is to kill what's called an antigen, that which shouldn't be in the body. So it sees a bacteria, oh, let's kill it, kills it. Sees a virus, oh, that's not there, let's kill it. It sees this rapidly replica replicating mass of cells, it goes, what the heck is that? I don't know, but let's kill it. Okay, so you need a healthy immune system to not get cancer. If you have a super healthy immune system and you go ahead and put composites in your teeth and eat barbecued food and uh, you know, drink from plastic cups and do all the things that you could read every single day in the newspaper that, oh, this causes cancer too. Newsprint, ah! <laughs> right? It's like you could like move, like I'm gonna move, so where are you gonna go? It's like how do you get, rid of, how do you get away from our corrupt government? Find one that isn't? Good luck. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but there isn't any way of getting away from this stuff. Yeah, you have to use wisdom. Am I going to, like, you know, be eating McDonald's every day? No. But is it going to kill you if you eat McDonald's once a month? No. You've got to have a balance. And I never promote my patients to be so out of balance that they can't even live in this world. I mean, you just can't live that way. I don't live that way, and uh, I just, I just don't, I won't ask anybody else to live that way. You have to have a balance, so, but you have to also use wisdom. So we want to use as much wisdom as possible in dealing with this. So in order for a person to get cancer, the cell didn't die, it's in a rapid replication stage, and at some point in time, your immune system was hindered. And it doesn't need to be this chronic depressed immune response. Let's say this is taking place on a, on a regular basis with me. My liver cell didn't die, and it went into this rapid replication, but now I just went through this huge amount of stress. Uh, you just got this letter from the IRS, or you just got laid off from your job, or you're going through marital issues, or something's wrong with your child, or your parent is dying. You go through stress. What does stress do to your body? 
stress diminishes your immune response. Stress is a part of your sympathetic nervous system. You fire the sympathetic response and your immune system and your digestive tract run on your parasympathetic nervous system. So that's suppressed. Those things shut down and guess what? I have a diminished immune response. Maybe it's only for a few weeks, maybe it's only for a few months, but that time that I have that diminished immune response, my T cells and my macrophage and lymphocytes were not nearly strong enough to kill that rapidly replicating and growing cell mass. Do you realize in order for you to have a diagnosis of cancer by any modern methods today, it has to be in the millions of cells large. It's that size of a pinhead at a million cells. So, you know, you have a lump on your breast. It's in the millions and millions of cells already. Okay, this has been going on for some time. It didn't just happen yesterday. Even if it's a very quick growing cancer. Follow me so far? So you had a diminished immune response, caused this cancer just to take off. And now even if I bring my immune system back up, but I take a whole bunch of echinacea, and I'm doing all these right things, and you know, you play the country music song backwards, and you get your horse back and your cow back and all that stuff. But uh, everything starts falling in line for you and you have a healthy immune response. It may be too large for your immune system to kill. 